Thank you very much. If the war rooms can stay out, this picture would be great. Um, can everybody please stand for just a moment? Thank you. Please rise if you would. I'd like for the entire group to join me in the new anthem for the CRWA. <laughs> well, life on farms, Carol. You'll also see that I'm a presidential candidate for the 2012 election. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I have a best friend that's a practical joker, so somehow he got me on the ballot in several states already, and I am listed as a national candidate. I would like to remind everybody that if you do vote for me, you won't have to worry about funding, and uh, next year's convention will be at the White House. <laughs> Uh, Harvey's Casino has asked me to go over a few housekeeping things, if we would, before we get started. First of all, they wanted to remind you the restrooms are out the door and to the right. Uh, in case of a fire, go, well, just get out. There's a $500 reward for whoever gets me out. Uh, trainers would like to remind everyone here in the sessions to cut off their cell phones and pagers. I have a note there, really. If you have a pager, I would really stay for the fire. You have nothing to live for. <laughs> Feel free to participate, dive in, and yell out jokes. I quit doing that in Indiana when someone yelled out Civil War. And it took me a while. <laughs> I said, well, let's see. A man's laying on a gurney in the Civil War, and he says, Doctor, I can't feel my legs. The doctor comes over and says, yeah, sorry about that. I had to cut your arms off. That's really funny. It's a lot like the Georgia jokes. You know, they had a tornado touchdown in West Virginia, did $3 million worth of improvement. <laughs> oh. You have, you guys know this, you have 883 million people last year that did not have access to clean water. That is, what, three times the population of the United States. You have 3.5 million people that died last year from water-related illness. That, to me, is an incredible number. That's the size of Los Angeles. I mean, we wouldn't miss Los Angeles, but per se, they were probably going to miss What the heck, What? <laughs> hey, do I come to your job and shake the Slurpee machine? <laughs> is this going to go on all night? <laughs> your personality doesn't change past age 28. Your basic personality doesn't change. So what do you do to grow? People talk about education in high school systems. No. You take education classes. And Dan, we were talking about it at lunch, and you're talking about the education credits, but you're talking about what people come here and they gain from all this. You really study and you learn in your field. And that is courage. You should be tremendously proud of what you do. You guys are giving a voice to yourselves. You're giving a voice to a new generation. Sales is not about sales. It is about making an emotional connection. Talk to them. Find out who they are. I'll save your relationships in your entire life with four letters. You know, T-M-A-Y. Tell me about you. It is astounding because they care. You went back and helped your community. That's what you do. You may tell everybody that you want to go fishing. So a Baptist and a Catholic and a rabbi are fishing. And the Baptist <laughs> gets up and says, I need to go to the restaurant. Walks across the water to the shore, goes to the port john. <laughs> Comes back across the water, gets in the boat. Catholic gets up, does the same thing. Comes back to the boat. Rabbi stands up on the other side of the boat, steps in the water, sinks to the bottom. Baptist looks at the Catholic and goes, think we should tell her where the rocks are? 